The latest batch of changes have arrived at New Golden Sands, introducing the Order of Souls hideout and the Gold Hoarders Bank. Okay then, so today we've got a brand new update to the game, and with it we've got further developments on New Golden Sands Outpost, soon to be renamed to Port Merrick. This time it is the Gold Hoarders and the Order of Souls trading companies so they have completely relocated from their old spot into their new port town home. As we make our way up to the new buildings, you can see that there are stairs and the structures that we've seen for a while have been indeed further developed. This is interesting because it makes me wonder whether the stone's going to cover the entire sand island here, or whether it's just going to stay like this because there are stairs leading into the sand. Starting with the Order of Souls building then, it looks like they were going for a sort of prison vibe, a sort of dungeon-y vibe, that's kind of what the Order of Souls has always screamed to me, but you do go quite far down to access the new area, it's got a lot of depth to it. Keeping in line with the Order of Souls theming, it's of course purple with lots of skulls and just magical artifacts and objects about. Very spacious and overall just looks absolutely stunning, matching the brief completely. It does make me wonder whether this outpost will have any functionality after it's completed, after the transformation into a port, should I say, because it will no longer be an outpost, or whether it's all just silver coating, and whether it's literally just a cosmetic update. Anyways, for now we have this, and as I say, it looks absolutely awesome. Moving on to the Gold Hoarders area, which is literally right next to the Order of Souls. It's interesting how they've done it. They've kind of built a sort of high street here, which is really nice to see. Really, like, very awesome indeed. But this might be the most awesome building on New Golden Sands. Maybe second to the tavern. Not sure here. But when we go inside, you'll be able to see why it was nicknamed Gringotts Bank internally. If you don't know what that is, it's the Wizarding World Bank from Harry Potter. That's what they sort of codenamed it, it's what they sort of discussed with each other when they were working on it over at Rare. And indeed, we can see that it is a bank, that's the style they're going for, which completely matches the Gold Hoarders. They've got the nice Gold Hoarder crest on the floor, and yeah, it's the front lobby of a bank. You can see over here, that's the way you get in, which is obviously locked, as banks do, because there's a vault, which the Gold Hoarders are very greedy and obviously don't want their treasure being stolen. But behind the counter, we can see that stone vault door, which looks amazing. The gold overflowing, the chests in the background, and overall, this building is stunning. There are voyages there. Every little detail is phenomenal across the outpost. You can see they put so much care and love into this. And at this point, if you're not glad that we saved New Golden Sands, then I don't think you ever will be, because honestly, this is just stunning, as I say. Moving on, the backside of this all has been completed as well. We can see here that the building actually has quite a bit of depth, even though inside it's not that big. You can see that it's very long around the back, which is rather interesting. There is a back entrance to it, which is very good, obviously vaulted and sealed shut. What's interesting about these two new areas is that there's an upper terrace bit that you can go up. This is the top of the Gold Halls area, obviously, and across this little bridge, we can see the Order of Souls area. Mysterious, magical, and I don't know, it's just a nice little touch. This whole area I'd recommend exploring as well, because it's all linked up and there's a lot of little passageways and bits. The way they've done these two buildings adjacent to each other is really good and very clever. The Sovereign's building has sadly had some neglect. Hopefully we'll be getting that in the next update, but we can see there's been bridge developments and also almost a garden. There's a lot of flowers here and sand, so I don't know if this is going to turn into a new building area or whether this is going to be a nice garden for Port Merrick. I hope it's a garden, honestly. I think they could do some fun stuff out in the sea with the Sovereign's area in the merchant area. I think that they don't need to put it on land. We could just have some more docks. There have been some developments on the main port as well. They teased that there's going to be a new statue coming to the island, and we are now seeing that come into fruition, because over at the weird altar bit behind the tavern, we can see a draped and cloaked, yeah, almost statue. It's a black cloak. We can't see inside because they've done some effect where it's completely black, but this is definitely where the statue is going to be. I can only presume it's going to be of Merrick, because obviously he is the saviour of this outpost. He is the reason why it is still here today. That isn't it though, there is also 
The beginnings of what looks to be a lighthouse or something? Over here is where I thought the new marina was going to be, where the new shipwright and merchant area was going to be. But they're building something instead. Maybe it'll be the new sovereign area, but then I don't see why they'd relocate to the other side of the island. So I can only presume that this is going to be a really awesome lighthouse that we can climb up. It's currently fully accessible as well. We can go inside, we can have a look, we can explore. Not that there is much to, but we can go around that central arch there. Up the ladder, again, there's just some more construction stuff as we see a crane there. I'm looking forward to seeing what this is, as I say. Hoping out for a lighthouse, but we have got other lighthouses. Not that they're accessible, but there's sort of other little buildings on this side of the outpost. I do hope they give this whole side some purpose. Overall now, the outpost is starting to become a lot more complete. This is what it looks like now. Images are courtesy of Merfolk's Lullaby. And it's overall just looking really, really awesome. Golden Sands is an awesome outpost to do this change to, this transformation to a port into. That wasn't everything that was in this update, though. We obviously have a full list of patch notes, one of which being the Halo cosmetics that are now in the Pirate Emporium that you can go and pick up. For more information on that, click the video in the top right now. The most notable change in this update is in the battle for the Sea of Thieves. Athena's Fortune Emissary flags one from same faction battles can now be handed into the Mysterious Stranger in return for gold and reputation and presumably faction rep as well. This is a very nice change. This ensures that players can profit from same faction battles. I hope to see the same come to Reapers. I'm surprised they didn't do that in this update as well. Another notable change is Ghost Ships. Player ships colliding with ghost ship during encounter will now result in reduced hull damage. They were very overpowered so I can see why they decide to reduce this. Could this be in preparation for something in the future? Could they be playing on adding more ghost ship stuff? I don't know. Anyways, that does just about wrap up this video. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. Let me know what you think of all the changes on new Golden Sands. Personally, as I say, I think they look epic. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel an absolute ton, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And while you're at it, why not hit the bell as well so you never miss a single upload. But anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.